Right, uh, hole, oh, lost count, <laughs> uh, hole 15 weekend round. And uh, as I said before, I'm only showing you how I'm going about playing my round. And this is a very difficult hole. So I've had to use a P5 uh, top, top spin boost ball with the pretty much wind resistant anyway. Uh, but anyway, I'll show you. Hopefully, you might have the ball. Um, I start with the, I'd start with the no move target. Now I'm using the extra mile here, but I think I'll swap to an APOC because it has that little bit more extra top spin. <clears throat> but I do start with the no move target P3 ball. So basically, with tighten it. But you'll see me change to this one. Which is a oak ball, I think. P5. I think wind resist is 4. <clears throat> so, max top spin plus the top spin boost, which is 3, and like whatever left spin I can, which is like just over half. Just 10% max. Max OP. You need it just to get across, to be honest with you. I have tried with the soap. Then again, I think I'll stick with the extra mile. I don't want to go too far up there. Then uh, the approach shot, I'm playing a... Uh, what's that, Billy? <coughs> playing a hook shot again. Uh, sorry, slice shot again. Uh, basically, uh, 18 rings, as before, as I said on the uh, old six in the front nine. And here I only put one left spin, I'd, I'd go with two. Or oh, one and a half. No, I think. Yeah, I'd go with one and a half. And I don't bother adjusting with the arrow, just whatever the adjustment is i just move left add it to 18 so here <clears throat> i think it was 23 rings or 23 and a half rings and then max op max right down. it's nice 